The Electric Coin Company is facilitating a non-binding, coin-weighted ZEC holder poll in order to gather sentiment regarding Zcash development priorities and whether to amend ZIP 1014. In this short video, we'll go over instructions for how to participate in this coin holder poll. Please keep in mind that these instructions are written specifically for ZEC Wallet Lite, the desktop application. Your instructions may vary depending on the hardware and software you're using. In order to participate in this poll, all you need is a Zcash wallet that supports both T addresses and Z addresses, as well as Z. You need to use a T address in order to participate in this coin-weighted poll. For the strongest privacy, we recommend using a single-use T address for this purpose. But another way, we recommend that you use a T address with no prior transaction history. We also recommend that you fund this address from a shielded Zcash address or a Z address. This poll will close at block height 1410115 or at approximately 2359 UTC on Friday, October 1st. There are five main steps in order to participate in the ZEC holder poll. Step one, determine your answer. Step two, prep your T address. Step three, submit your answer to the polling address. Step four, wait your T address. And finally, step five, reshield your funds. In this video, we'll go over each one of these steps in more detail. Let's get started with step one. Determine your answer. This is the answer that you're going to use in the memo field in step three. Answers must be submitted in a consistent format in order to be counted. The answer format should be question number, option letter, the optional other comment, followed by a semicolon. Spaces are fine. In this sample answer, we have 1A, semicolon, 2E, let's make more Zcash swag, semicolon, 3Y. This answer indicates that option A should be the first priority for Zcash. Option A is scalability. Um, option E should be the second priority for Zcash. Option E is other, and this person said, let's make more Zcash swag as the second priority. And for the third answer, uh, this person indicated, yes, amendments should be made to ZIP 1014. Now that you have your answer, Let's go on to the next step, prepping your T address. Ideally, you want to use a fresh T address or a T address with no prior transaction history. This prevents transaction linkability and minimizes information leakage. If you use Zec Wallet Lite on desktop, you can create a new T address relatively easily. What you're going to do is first open Zec Wallet Lite in your um, desktop and then go to the Receive tab switch to T address and copy one of the many T addresses listed below. Make sure you use a T address that you've never used before. Then go to the send tab and in the to field, paste your T address. In the ZEC field, type in 0.0001ZEC, hit send, then hit confirm. Wait until that transaction has at least two confirmations before going to the next step. The next step is submitting your answer to the polling address. We have the polling address listed here, both in the full address format, as well as in a scannable QR code. Zec Wallet Lite automatically empties out your T address every time you make a transaction. The reason you need to prep your T address is to get a small amount in that T address so that when you submit your poll answer, it leaves a record on chain of your T address as well as your vote. What you're going to do is go to the send tab and in the to field, paste the poll address. You can either copy the poll address or simply scan the QR code depending on what application you're using. In the ZEC field, put 0.00001 ZEC. In the memo field, include your answer. Hit send, then hit confirm. Please keep in mind not to send more than 0.00001ZEC, that's four zeros, um, because funds sent to the polling address will not be returned. Wait until the transaction has at least two confirmations before continuing to the next step. 
Now that you've submitted your answer, you're ready to weight your tea address. In coin-weighted polling, your vote is weighted according to the balance in your tea address at the cutoff height of block height 141011. Now you're ready to weight your tea address. Your vote will be weighted according to the balance in your tea address at the cutoff height 1410115. At this point, your tea address should have zero funds. So fund your tea address based on how much you want your vote to be weighted. Go to the Receive tab and switch to your tea address. Copy the tea address that you used to vote and go to the Send tab and in the To field, paste that address. In the ZEC field, put the amount of ZEC you want your vote to be weighted by. For example, in this screen, this vote is being weighted by the amount of 10 ZEC. Pin send, then hit confirm. Now your vote is weighted, and at the conclusion of the poll, you'll want to reshield your funds into um, a Zcash shielded address. After the poll concludes at block height 1410115, or at around Friday, October 1st at 2359 UTC, you want to send your funds back to your primary shielded address. The way you do that is by copying your primary shielded address, then going to the send tab, using your primary shielded address in the to field, and then in the amount, set the amount uh, that you weighted your vote by, then hit send. This should reshield all the funds that you used in participating in the coin weighted poll. Thank you so much for your interest in um, participating in the Zcash coin weighted poll. We look forward to seeing the results and please reach out if you have any questions.